right. Well, I don't think we're going to be running into a nice, peaceful little visit there. This is probably going to be business as usual. Yeah, looking like business as usual. Hmm. Okay, let's just try this door here. Oh, got some rags. Okay, underground it is. Charge 0%. Requires connection to power supply. Okay, well that sounds important. Got some more pistol ammo. I'm definitely liking our ammo situation right now. Oh, we got some baddies down here. We got a smoky guy down there too. Wonder if I can... I mean, I could try to hit him, but then he's going to run for us. Probably end up taking some damage. Well, that didn't work. Well, taking you guys out one at a time is a viable strategy, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good, he did take the other guy out. Thanks for being helpful, whether you meant to be or not. Oh, ladder. Did I miss anything back here? I just want to go and check. No, I think we're good. It's always frustrating if I like go back in editing and go like, oh, you you missed a door or you missed a you missed a manhole or whatever. Okay, yeah, man. Oh, I took them both out. Super satisfied with life right now. Well, maybe not super satisfied, but you know, I'm trying to stay positive. It's like some shit in the way. Can't get through there. Got a chair. Oh, two little guys. Okay, took one out. Let's see if we can go the uh, cheap ass route here and take these guys out with punches. Okay, there's one. Okay, this little guy shouldn't be tough to shouldn't be tough to take out here. One punch, two punch, three punch. One. Four punch. Five punch. And double tap just to be safe. And then he has told that night descends upon the world, and he and those like him, stars in the night sky. That is one weird dream. He has also had a rifle and wore a hat, like a cowboy, rather like a hunter. Hmm. So I've been... Okay, we can get down here now. Oh, another train over here. Let's just go up here quick before we move on. So I've been really thinking about this game and trying to determine in my mind whether it's... Like, it, it definitely plays like a zombie game and the creatures we're fighting are infected. I don't think they've ever outright called them zombies or undead or whatever. But I'm thinking back to those two moons we saw, and we and they're talking, and they've talked about this whole first visitation that happened. What was it, 106 years ago? And I'm wondering, like, is this something like extraterrestrial oriented that caused all this to happen? Is it a zombie virus? Is it like? I mean, I have my theories, but can't really jump to conclusions. You know, I'm interested to find out more about just what happened. Oh, that door ain't opening. <clears throat> oh. oh. A little messy in here. Those dreams again. The symbols every night. Okay. Down this way. Things are getting weirder, that's for sure. Help. Me. Oh. I don't know if he died or went back to the train. I guess we'll find out when we get back to the train. He looked like he had a wound on the side of his head, though. You can kind of see, like, the blood spatter. Okay, going down. 
I don't like this. Let's switch to the shotgun. Oh, hello. Oh, I see a burning guy. Let's, uh... Yes! Come on, come on, big money. That is the most incredible thing we have done yet in this series. My fuck. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Okay. Come on, charge your punch. Like we always do. Well, so far these encounters have been pretty basic. If we didn't have that burning guy back there, that would have been quite a waste of ammo. Or our fist would have been really sore by the end of it. Ow, oh, damn it. I just had to speak too soon. I was a little careless on that one. Alright, I'm not going to make it back to the ladder in time, so we'll just take that guy out the uh, old-fashioned way. Okay. Uh. Oh, we got the train code already. And there's a dead guy. I don't think we're going to be taking him back to the train. Not unless we resort to cannibalism. I'll leave that up to you folks to uh, vote on that. Oh, looks like a port for a battery. Okay. So now whatever that was up there should be charging. But let's keep looking around a little more here. Got some screws. Huh. Not a hell of a lot to this place. Unless shit hits the fan when we're on our way back. Which I wouldn't put it past the game to do that. Okay, up we go. Up we go. Get the boomstick out so I feel a little bit better about her safety. Up this way. Down this way. Okay. If there was a shortcut to go back, I completely missed it. Charge at 0% requires connection to power supply. Didn't I already... Six, eight, eight, four. Okay. Well, I guess we gone. Buying stuff. Well, that one wasn't too bad. Oh! But he did show up on the train. I don't feel so good. Okay, you're hungry. Uh, I hope we come to a store here pretty quick that's actually got supplies, because we're going to have to stock up here. We don't even know this guy's name. He could go infected and murder everyone on the train. Did anyone ever stop to... What the fuck? Oh. My eyes. Who turned on the lights? I'm assuming the sun did. Looks like we made it. The shelter must be close. I hope they didn't close it yet. What, the shelter? No, I was talking about Denny's. Oh, we gotta go work on the crystal here. Don't overheat. Not good for any of us. There we go. I'm super paranoid about our people here. Do, do they have any girls there? What, at the shelter? What's wrong with that guy? If there are any girls there, I want to do them. If you've never checked out 8-Bit uh, Theater D&D, please go check that out after this video. That's what I was quoting. It's an oldie, but it's a great video. 
Oh, man. A wall with symbols. I found it. Couldn't read the symbols. What happened to your head? I'm more interested in that. Which damn wall? Where? The old man didn't lie. It's falling apart. Oh, please be, please be a town with a store. Please? Aw, oh, yeah, act complete. Alan Yates, Adam Miller, Richard Bronx, Peter Glean is dead, and whoever the hell that guy is, we'll just call him Blunt Force Trauma. Cool, we got some money, we got some shotgun shells, and... What the hell is that up there? Like a radio or something? Or a phone? Yes, sir. He has reached the bunker. Yes, the cargo is with him. Where did I get the second bottle? Hee <laughs> hee. We settlers know how to get by. I gave you everything I have. I hope we don't need money in the shelter. Oh, and then here's our buddy here. Do you understand us? Can you walk? Looks like this is the missing link. Contact David as soon as possible. Well, I'm glad he's not riding with us anymore. I was seriously wondering if he was gonna like go infected and like murder everyone on the train. What took you so long? Bristol is not that far away. Hey, fuck you, man. We've been through some shit. A tunnel? There are no tunnels on the way here, my friend. Oh. Well, we did try to take a shortcut. You only had to pass two cities and that's it. This is weird. Yeah, well, you're a dink. I'd like to see you do better. Man, everyone's a frickin' critic. Sure enough, we will take care of them. There is still room in the shelter. And you go down and see my boss. He has something important to tell you. Hopefully he's a little more appreciative than that prick back there. Let's just see if there's anything over here. Ooh, what's this? Don't forget to load emergency rations. We will close the cargo elevator soon. Cool, well, let's check out this shelter. This definitely kind of makes more sense than having a surface city in this kind of these kind of conditions. Civilians, 12,542. Lab personnel, 64. Unidentified objects, 1. Okay. This is cool. Oh, there's an elevator. Neat. I like seeing something different. Nice view. Yeah, sure. If fallout shelters are your thing. Oh, I got like a little like plants, little greenhouse lab or something going. Please do not touch anything. <laughs> this guy. Only smoke in hallways near air vents. Who even came up with that? Oh, are they like studying an infected? We've captured it in the locally. He was really hard to pacify. Now he's in a tube. No news yet. Here we've been figuring out, why would the gas affect people this way? Oh, so it was like an airborne pathogen. Apparently it is designed to encourage positive cell development. Put simply, it is meant to make you smarter, faster, you name it. However, it only works like that in a minority of cases. Most of the time the results are as in the jar. Oh, so in rare cases that can actually be like a performance enhancer. That's scary. Hope we don't run into any enemies like that. Imagine if those things were using guns. X2. Well, you're making me seriously consider the uh, extraterrestrial thing. That kind of looks like it could be a spaceship. I can't tell you much about them. We cannot even identify the material these capsules are made of, so don't even ask me about the gas. 
Okay, yeah, really starting to sound like alien shit here. Hello? Well, I don't know who the hell we were... I don't know who the hell we were trying to call. Larry? I know you're probably dead, but you still owe me 50 bucks for that favor I did for you. Seems they are yet to load the food container. Ah, damn it. We're getting low on food. Okay, medical supplies. We've got a little over $700. So let's go ahead and stock up completely. Ammo. Hmm. Okay. So, we've already got a pistol and a shotgun. Are those... Is that like a damage up kind of thing? We Whatever it is, we don't have enough money for it. But, let's go ahead and buy out the ammo. There we go. So we bought 10 pistol rounds and two shotgun shells. This is really interesting. So are they studying the brain activity of the uh, infected? The council was unable to decide which nation is going to control the guardian. This is why we created a neutral central processor. Neural sensor processor. Neural central processor. Lots of production time wasted. Okay. Man, this shelter is friggin' huge. Anything? Oh. Ah, uh, well, let's go talk to this guy, I guess. I know we don't have much time. This is Guardian's central processor. Council's assigned us to develop it. Now you need to deliver it to Metropole as soon as possible. To think of it, why would Thornton give up the power core? As far as I know, he is not on our side anymore. I don't know. Why is anything anything? My assistant will accompany you. He is going to help with the brain setup in Metropole. Cool. Well, I guess we know what our next cargo is. Brain thing. Okay, waiting for you on the train. Cool. Well, I didn't talk to these people up here yet, so let's go back up. Got our next cargo. We still have purpose. Okay, it looks like everything we need is loaded. Are you sure the food container is in? Yeah, I'm concerned about that too, because I totally wanted to get some grub. I was going to flip that one guy the bird, but uh, he appears to be gone, so fuck that guy. To Peter Elbow, head of LF's bunker station. Everything is loaded by now, I guess. Y you guess? That's a black and that's a very black and white statement. There's no gray area on that. Once I leave, I'm not coming back. They're all a bunch of incompetent assholes. Alrighty. Let's go for a snowy little train ride. <laughs> 